A surprising and inconvenient element of being human is that we feel far beyond we unexpectedly acknowledge we feel. There are feelings flowing through of us, of outrage or happiness, disdain or dread, that lie right external the circle of conventional awareness and that escape us as we hurry through the difficulties of our lives. These feelings go underground to some extent since they are in many cases excessively surprising or miserable or opposite. To assumptions for us to need to get a handle on them. We could abhor where we should cherish, or may feel miserable where we are intended to be reasonable. Thus, out of hesitancy and dread, we preclude to enlist our genuine reality. Or, in all likelihood our sentiments get overlooked in light of the fact that they occur to us excessively quick and inaccessibly extraordinary. An amount for us to unravel them in the restricted time we dedicate to self-understanding. But except if the full array of our feelings is routinely distinguished and enough felt. We are probably going to succumb to a scope of mental ills uneasiness, suspicion, despondency and more regrettable. Mental unwellness is conceived out of a collection of unfelt sentiments. We should do ourselves the blessing of consistently, in a perfect world one time each day, cutting out periods. In which to get all the more profoundly familiar with our actual feelings. We should constantly ask ourselves a straightforward sounding, however stupendous and profound inquiry. What am I feeling? Presently? To draw out important responses, we ought to sit someplace calm, most likely in bed, with the lights low, and a cushion and pen helpful. We ought to shut our eyes and let the liberality and freestyle nature of the inquiry reverberate. After a couple of seconds of examining the obscuration of the internal brain, we are responsible to get a couple of suggestions of something. It very well may be the stir of a shockingly all-around disguised tension. With a portion of the covertness of a tracker in the undergrowth or an angler by the bank of a stream, we can squeeze ourselves to reflect further, what does it appear we are in fact restless about? It might require significantly more dream and internal enquiry before we slowly feel an unmistakable idea arising similar to a scene unobtrusively showing up at the sluggish break of a late spring day. We might have to unravel evidently minute snapshots of hostility, ugliness, disarray or misery that have influenced on us without us appropriately taking note. Or on the other hand we may, as we inspect ourselves, distinguish hints of old injuries that appear to be still dynamic in far-off valleys. Somebody is crying. Somebody is exceptionally stressed, a little individual. Who may be us, needs our assistance seriously. We ought to complete a comparable cycle with our bodies, where a lot more muffled sentiments lie covered. What is my body feeling? We can ask, unusually yet helpfully. What might it want to converse with me about? Furthermore, to get more unambiguous, on the off chance that my shoulders could talk at the present time, what could they say? Furthermore, my chest, what might it say? Also, my arms, my hands, my legs, 
my feet? Our appendages should twist into a ball and long for consolation, or, in all likelihood, hit a rival. Or on the other hand, stretch themselves resistant and intensely. Or on the other hand, they could recall an old baffled wish to be hung on a soothing chest. Through 10 or 20 minutes of this sort of concentrated, yet at the same free and exploratory. Meander through ourselves, we diminish the concern and distress of unfelt sentiments. We become miserable where we were already despairing, furious where we were crabby and sympathetic. Where we were restless, and the outcome is a freshly discovered true serenity and gentility of the spirit. We appear to possess such a lot of energy for everything, with the exception of what can save us.